a beach not far from Marrakesh called Isawira. So originally these people were not in India, but they were just... Hi, welcome back to Morocco. And um, today was kind of the first day of the real work. Um, we've been working sort of quite up to it, but not quite as much as it started today. Um, so I got to meet my team in the last few days properly. It was weird when I first came to um, the Riyadh and actually found them all. I started like hugging them and I felt, I, I, I actually hugged them um, and didn't realise I hadn't really met them before so I already felt like I had been, I'd been in a Skype meeting with them um, for two days um, where I stayed up all night so I was in New Zealand time and so I already felt kind of like bonded so it was really cool and yeah we've kind of been um, seeing stuff, organising, having meetings, getting things ready but also going out and um, doing some little tourie bits as well, which has been really awesome. Um, and I've had um, a little bit of problem, unfortunately, with an injury um, kicking in, and it kicked off from the walking tour. I, I thought I shouldn't have done um, as much as I did. I was a bit worried, and I did stop a lot earlier than I perhaps would have normally, um, but it's still has aggravated the injury and today um, we went to find the meeting venue for the uh, conference of youth and we got a bit stuck trying to find it and ended up at the wrong campus and had to walk a lot further than we thought and as always it's always it's just over there it's just around the corner so there's no point taking a taxi but like an hour and a half later it makes quite a big difference um, so I am at the moment a little bit concerned about um, how I'm going to be able to function in the next few weeks um, because I have a lot that I want to do and achieve and I don't want anything to stop me doing that um, and I will probably just end up pushing through but I don't want to be back on crutches like I was last year at the end of it so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, it was interesting, yesterday we went um, and got our badges for COP for the, the conference of the parties, which is um, all the people that signed on to the Paris Agreement, which by the way today we also had Saudi Arabia, Arabia ratify, so we're now up to um, 97 countries out of 191 have um, ratified the agreement, so they've gone back to their governments after signing in Paris, they've put through the legislation that they needed to, um, so we're really, that's like really awesome. Almost 69% of all emissions are now covered. So we're in a really good spot, which basically means that those countries that have ratified are allowed to actually have a say in these um, meetings coming up in that particular part of the meeting, deciding on things on the Paris Agreement um, around wording and things going forward. So there's a little bit of a push for countries now to ratify because otherwise they'll be left out of discussions. So, yay! Pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, and so we went, went to, the, to the venue where the main thing's going to be held from Monday and got our badges and stuff. And it's really interesting, it's super dusty, like the wind picked up. And I didn't have glasses or anything with me, there's so much dust. Um, and it's a really different environment to what I've been in for a while, so it was quite cool. Um, and then today, the conference of the youth has been super interesting. Um, Recently I joined what they call the bottom lining team and that is basically an organisational team that um, helps to organise all youth climate movement throughout the whole world um, if they need logistics help and things like that. Um, so we had a big issue with the, the uh, conference of youth happening which is designed for all youth to come together and decide on how we're going to work together for, for the COP um, to try and get the best outcome and unfortunately it kind of all fell apart at the last uh, minute because there were a lot of interfering forces where we were actually kind of kicked out of our own um, space for organising and we were shut out of all the sort of um, deciding you know what, what was happening, everything. We didn't have any information, it was, it was quite a shame. So, but today, so we arrived today not really knowing what was going to happen, 
and on the ground it took a lot of time to sort of initially find the place find where we could actually be get everyone together and then start the first meeting the meeting started about three hours later than what we intended it to um, and then it went really awesome so there's an amazing amount of youth there we thought with the confusion we were thinking maybe only 20 people turn up we really didn't know because People just hadn't had the information about where it was, what was happening, and hundreds of people turned up. Um, and so we had youth from heaps of countries um, participating in the, in the events, and the ones that came to our specific meetings on, on strategy um, and things were like 40 to 50, and from quite a lot of countries. And that was really awesome. And it was a really positive meeting as well. And so I got a lot from that. And as like, um, this is kind of, you know, I'm really young in this kind of process and there's a lot that I don't know in terms of how things are structured, how things work, the best way to go about things. And so it was really useful for me. Um, I took my first ever like minutes. So <laughs> maybe Polo, you might be proud of me, I hope. Um, because it was meant to just be an hour session and it's you know all jargon and things that I'm just still getting to grips with and I went for two hours my head was total fog um, but I am pretty proud of the result despite my like a little bit dyslexic you know things I sorted out after <laughs> we're good um, and yeah we're, it's actually from what it could have been quite a negative experience because of everything that was happening it really became a real positive thing lots of people were pulling together we've got a lot of direction a lot of expertise um, so much amazing people in that room um, in that from all young you know young people and so tomorrow we've got a really cool sort of setup where we're going to be breaking into groups um, of special interests to focus on particular areas that we want to press on to try and get outcomes for as well as other things and yeah like really excited um, there's also movement for me on my I've got my own personal goals and things that I'm wanting to achieve here um, in multiple areas and I'm trying to keep a tabs on all of them while doing all this other stuff um, and keeping all of them ticking along to make sure that they kind of reach fruition and um, they're all sort of yeah all sort of getting there which is awesome so um, wherever you are in the world um, watching this um, if you have any questions or you want any input um, from a youth perspective or you, you any kind of comments and clarifications just like put a comment and down below um, and I'll, I'll do what I can to answer for you bye